The typical home is full of biological contaminants. They include bacteria, mold and mildew, viruses, animal dander and cat saliva, house dust mites, cockroaches, and pollen. If there are sensitized or susceptible individuals in the home, or when these contaminants are at elevated levels, people can become sick. There are many sources of these biological pollutants. Pollens originate from plants, viruses are transmitted by people and animals, bacteria are carried by people, animals, and soil and plant debris, and household pets are a source of saliva and animal dander. The protein in urine from rats and mice is a potent allergen, and when it becomes dry, can become airborne. Contaminated central air handling systems can become breeding grounds for mold, mildew, and other sources of biological contaminants that can then be distributed throughout the home. By controlling the relative humidity level in a home, the growth of some sources of microbial contaminants can be minimized. A relative humidity of 30 to 50 percent is generally recommended for homes. Any standing water, water damaged materials, or wet surfaces also serve as a breeding ground for molds, mildew, bacteria, and insects. House dust mites, the source of one of the most powerful biological allergens, grow in damp, warm environments. Some biological contaminants trigger allergic reactions and some types of asthma. Infectious illnesses such as influenza, measles, and chickenpox are transmitted through the air. Symptoms of health problems caused by biological pollutants include sneezing, watery eyes, coughing, shortness of breath, dizziness, lethargy, fever, and digestive problems. Children, elderly people, and people with breathing problems, allergies, and lung diseases are particularly susceptible to disease-causing biological agents in the indoor air. There are ways to minimize biological contaminants in indoor environments. For example, install and use exhaust fans that are vented to the outdoors in kitchens and bathrooms and vent closed dryers outdoors. Ventilate the attic and crawl spaces to prevent moisture buildup. Keeping humidity levels in these areas below 50% can prevent water condensation on building materials that could lead to mold and other microbial contaminants. If using cool mist or ultrasonic humidifiers, clean appliances according to manufacturer's instructions and refill with fresh water daily. Because these humidifiers can become breeding grounds for biological contaminants, they have the potential for causing diseases. Evaporation trays and air conditioners, dehumidifiers, and refrigerators should also be cleaned frequently. Thoroughly clean and dry water damage carpets and building materials within 24 hours if possible, or consider removing and replacing them. Water damage carpets and building materials can harbor mold and bacteria. It is very difficult to completely rid such materials of biological contaminants. Also, keep the house clean. House dust mites, pollen, animal dander, and other allergy-causing agents can be reduced, although not eliminated through regular cleaning. Allergic individuals should also leave the house while it is being vacuumed, because vacuuming can actually increase airborne levels of mite allergens and other biological contaminants. Using a central vacuum system that is vented to the outdoors or vacuum with high-efficiency filters may also be of help. Take steps to minimize the biological pollutants in basements by cleaning and disinfecting the basement floor drain regularly. Operate a dehumidifier in the basement if needed to keep relative humidity levels between 30 and 50 percent. These are just a few things to know about biological contaminants in the home. For a list of environmental and indoor air quality professionals and resources, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.